is there or is there a risk of capsid contracture depending on the size of the breast implant good question and i'm going to say easy answer no because capsular contracture is scar tissue forming around the implant so it doesn't really matter if it's a tiny little implant or it's a massive great big implant so the scar tissue is going to form around the implant but i would having thought about that what i would the, the thing about capsular contracture capsular contracture is measured by how much you can see or feel the implant so therefore your bigger implant is going to be more likely to see or feel it so in the same person in the same person if the person's considering having a small implant or a big implant the bigger implant is going to have less tissue covering it because the same you you know you've got the same amount of tissue covering it so um in, in the same person, if they're considering having a bigger implant, you're more likely to feel the edges of that implant if it's bigger. And therefore, if it does develop capsular contracture and go hard, it's going to come quicker with a bigger implant. Does that make sense? So not necessarily a bigger implant is worse than a smaller implant, because what you try and do is make the implant in proportion to the frame and have enough cover over it, whoever you are. So a smaller person would maybe have a smaller implant than a bigger person which would give the same result, and their risk of capsular contraction will be the same. But in the same person, have I overcomplicated this question? I think I should have just stuck with no. Maybe I should have stuck with no at the beginning. Anyway, perhaps we can edit that out. But anyway, no, not in itself, but in the same person, if you're pushing the boundaries of the size of the implant and you're making it more likely to feel, then when it does develop capsular contraction, you're going to feel that quicker.